So if you're a healthcare provider in Europe or perhaps further afield, should you target the UK to try and attract medical tourists? Well, the UK is no different to any other developing country. It's got ageing population, rising healthcare costs and pressure to reduce the government's expenditure on healthcare. So it looks, yeah, obvious, isn't it? It must be a great place to go to get medical tourists. Now the reality is, if you look at what's happened in UK medical tourism, and I've got a graph here, this is, this is data that we collect from the International Passenger Survey in the UK that, that counts people going in and out of the country and the reason for travel. And what we collect is, is the data on patients who said, yes, I went abroad for healthcare. Uh, and the reality is, in the UK, that the number of medical tourists, according to this data, and you have to be careful with this data, but it's good on trends, peaked around 2006, 7, 10 years ago. And that since that point, it's been either static or in decline. So that's not great news. But what's interesting, in the last year, 18 months, what we have seen is a massive recovery. So we, in this data, and again we have to treat it with some, some care, um, we see the highest ever figure recorded, 100,000 tracked on the International Passenger Survey of outbound medical tourists. So what's driving this and what, what's suddenly caused this kick up in outbound medical tourism from the UK? Um, I think two things. One is, uh, you know, we read in our, own, in our UK papers every day about the problems of the NHS and the, the lack of funding and it is pushing more people to think about self-funding treatment. And the reality is in the UK, private healthcare is expensive. So, you know, if you have a patient looking for, let's say, uh, uh, a hip replacement, then they're going to end up paying eight, nine, ten thousand pounds to have that done in a, in a UK hospital. And more and more are thinking about, could I get this option abroad? Historically, medical tourism has got really bad press in the UK. Um, if you read our national newspapers, you will, they basically tell a story of medical tourism gone wrong. It's the same on our TV channels, you know, the stories of botched cosmetic surgery in countries in Europe are fairly common. Uh, and what we have to do as an industry and what providers have to do who are tar want the target to the UK is get a much stronger message across about safety and quality. It's not about selling this is the cheap place to go to have this done. That's not a great message. Um, we're going to dedicate uh, a session at the IMTJ Medical Travel Summit in Croatia specifically to the UK market. And I'm going to be talking for that uh, and working and running a, a workshop. If you're interested um, in, in targeting the UK, then I'll be giving, telling you everything I know. Uh, about the UK market and how I think you can really generate some patience. So come to that session in Croatia in April.